we're given a one year select period. So that means if we select the age 65, if we add one year to that, that's just going to be 66. At age 65, there's a thousand people, 40 of them die. So that leaves 960 of them the next year. And age 66, there's 90, 955 people, 45 die. So that leaves 910. Deaths are uniformly distributed over each year of age. So here it's UDD. And the median lifetime, age 65, is 15. So we want to find the median lifetime of 66. So this problem is going to involve lots of formulas. Um, the first thing is we want to use a recursive formula. So basically we start off at year X and add the probabilities. We arrive at year X plus N. So we have to add. So this is the probability adding them up. So like PX plus 2PX all the way up to NPX. And then we want to add it with the probability of surviving n years from age x. So that's this part. And then you want to continue on. Okay, so okay, this is how you want to think about it. Okay. So that's the first formula. And here we're we're gonna set n equals one. So we'll have E X angle one plus now that's just PX E and then X plus one. Now I want to simplify the this part right here. So because this is UDD, well, one of the formulas you should know is X angle N is n p of x so hx surviving n years times n plus the probability of dying in n years at hx times n over 2 so if you look at n equals 1 you get px plus qx and then times a half so I'll just put the half in front so we'll plug that in here so that'll be px plus half qx plus px and ex plus one I'm gonna leave the half qx in front and then I'm gonna factor out a px I'll be left with one plus ex plus one All right, now I can begin. So the first one I'm gonna be working with, if we go back up, so age 65, we're given that it's 15. So let's work with that. And again, this is select age 65. So I'm gonna put a bracket for all the ages of 65. Oops. So I'm going to copy actually. Um, let's try this again. Copy the one above. So it's 0.5 Q select age 65 plus probability of age 65 select. And because this is a one year select period, I could just write it as just 66. There's no more, I don't, no more brackets. I'm given that this is 15. I want to find the probability of dying at age 65. So 
So I'm going to get that from up here. So this is just 1 minus L66 over L65. So we get 1 minus 960 over 1000. So that's 0.04. So it's 0.5 times 0.04. Now the probability of surviving the select age 65 is a complement of 0.04. It's 0.96 and that's 1 plus. And then we'll just leave E66 alone. So we can solve for it. and get that it's 14.60417. Okay, now the next thing we're gonna be doing is doing the same thing. So we're gonna start with age 66 and we're gonna go up one age to 67. Notice I the, the age 66 is not select. Okay. So that's why I'm not putting a bracket Now for Q67, that's 1 minus L of 68 over L of 67. And this one we have to be careful. Because Actually, let's try this one again. If we go back, this should be H66. This is a typo. Yeah, so we want to keep it the same age. So this will be 67 over 66. Okay. So that's going to be these guys over here. Notice it doesn't have a bracket. Th this does. So we don't want to use the 1,955. <clears throat> so Q of 66 is going to be 1 minus, and then it's 910 over 960, which is 50 over 960. So it's half times 50 over 960 plus. Now the probability of surviving age 66 is one minus the pro probability of dying, which is 910 over 960. And it's one plus. Now I don't know what this one is, so I'll just leave it alone. And E66 is 14.60417 doing some simplifying we get that this is 14.37912 now the problem is we didn't do it for select age 66 over here we just did it for age 66 we want to solve for the actual select age 66 so let's do that so I'm basically going to copy everything I have except put a bracket around 66. So I'm copying it from this line. So the whole purpose of that line was to get to E67. Okay. So now I could just plug it in. Now the probability of dying at a select age 66. So this time we're going to be using um, this table. So let's write it like this. That is the number of people that are dead at age 66 over how many people are alive at the beginning of age 66. So that is 
45 over 955. So let's copy that down here. Now the probability of them surviving is one minus that, which is 910 over 955. And then this guy I already solved over here, so I'm just gonna copy it. And then when we simplify, we get the answer is 14.67 uh, 